Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlogger. Um, this week's topic is, when did you first know you were fat? When I started needing a whole bus seat to myself. When the name calling first started. When I first started to go into my shell and be more shy. When family members started being concerned about how much was on my plate. When I had to shop in the men's department and I was only in junior high. When I found more comfort in food than I did in talking to my friends. When running around with classmates became more of a chore than fun. When people started being afraid of me instead of being friends with me. When I looked different from everyone else but I didn't exactly know why. There's lots of ways to, to realize that you're overweight. I first realized when I was in junior high um, and I was extremely larger than most of the students there. Not only height wise but also in width. Um, Teen years are a hard time to go through in any size body, but when you're a morbidly obese teen, uh, the name calling and the taunting are horrible. Um, I grew up in a time where um, bullying was completely accepted, and it was either bully or be bullied. And I think I did my fair share of both at one point. Um, especially my freshman year of high school. I was learning who I was and what groups I fit into, and because of my weight, I wasn't accepted by most groups. Most people um, in the weight loss community uh, were chunky kids. Some weren't, I'm not saying all, but most people were. And it's a, it's a hard thing to deal with. Um, I think it's important to realize what we went through as children and as teenagers and as young adults developing our, into our bodies um, and understand how hard it is and give support to those around us who may be going through the same thing. Um, after dealing with all the weight issues that I have in my life and following that with weight loss surgery, I've really taken time to look at what I show my nieces because they're they're very important to me and with my family history chances are one or both of them will be obese um, I've taken time to talk about what's healthy and what's not um, if you go to the food pyramid guide website there's actually a place where you can um, print out a pre-k um, and then K through 6 and then 6 through 12 food pyramid um, with the child, child's age and height and it gives you exactly what food groups they should have each day to have a healthy balanced diet and I've done that for both of my nieces. I think it's important in the weight loss community to not only focus on ourselves, but to also focus on the children around us to make sure that they grow up with a healthy knowledge of what food is. We need to teach kids early on that we eat to live, not live to eat. Um, I think it's important that we all realize that um, we do, we did identify when we became aware that we were fat. But now it's time to realize that we don't have to be that way anymore. Um, and know that if you're coming from a place where you've lost weight, you're never going to go back to that number again, ever again. So. Be prepared to lose more weight and look back on those numbers that you've lost. I know that I spend a lot of time in my videos talking about numbers, um, but I'm learning more and more that I need to let that go and really focus on non-scale victories. Um, I've accomplished some and it's important to recognize uh, not only what the numbers on the scale show, but how our clothes fit, what we're able to do, where we're able to go and fit comfortably. Um, and and remember where we came from and I think that's an important part of this week um, think back on where you came from where your um, obesity or, or being overweight started um, what started it what was going on in your life um, make a video response to to me if you'd like I would I would love to hear um, everyone's story about when they first realized they were overweight or obese um, what's changed now uh, whether it be weight loss surgery or, or, or lifestyle change. I think it'd be great, and uh, I'd love to hear all of your stories. That's all I have for this week, guys. I hope you enjoy my video. Um, Fredbear08 will be here tomorrow, um, and uh, we'll see you all very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.